Hello there, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial on how to blend two different images, one for the sky, one for the foreground, using Photoshop CS6 Beta. Firstly, you need to choose your raw files, make any adjustments you want to do for the exposure, contrast, clarity, whatever you fancy. Please ignore my finger in the bottom left of the picture, we do crop that out later on. I will be speeding up some of the processes through this tutorial, as otherwise it's about a 20 minute video. What I did now was add a layer mask to the sky layer and inverted this layer mask so it's completely black as a black mask will hide the sky layer from the foreground layer. And all you need to do is get a white brush and just brush over everywhere on your image where you want the sky to show through. For this main area of the sky I used the brush opacity at 100% when we get close to the car we can reduce this in an effort to try and minimise any haloing effect we might get. Now we're close to the car, this is the point where I start experimenting with different brush sizes and opacities to try and reduce this definite haloing effect we're getting around the edge of the car due to merging these two exposures. Now we have the basic merged images, I'm basically just going to use a few adjustment layers to bring out the detail in the car a bit more, adjust the curves of the whole image, basically enhance the image to my personal preferences. At this point I'm just going to create a quick high pass filter layer to selectively sharpen some of the areas on the car like the door lines and the wheels just to give it a bit more sharpness.
now that this is done, it's time to cough out my pesky finger in the bottom left of the picture. Here I'm just going to deselect all the layers to give you a quick progression of where we ended up from the beginning to the end of the process. All I do now is add my watermark and then save the image. It's always best to save a Photoshop file of the image so you've always got the layer history available to go back if you ever want to re-edit the image. All that's left to do now is flatten the image and save it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.